Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay, and if you are new, make sure you hit that red rectangle button, which is down below right here, followed by the post notification bell, so notifies you when I drop a video. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, welcome. Thank you for coming back. Please continue to subscribe to my channel because I got lots more for you. I don't know why I look like this. The camera stand, I don't know. I just can't came home. Don't mind my face. I look dry. My lip look dry. Y'all, I just came back from a long ass day. I did a lot of errands for myself today. Well, yeah, basically, basically more for myself and probably only one errand for my mother. Wow. Well, it's all dedicated to me. So, today's video, what I'm going to be doing right now is about pure later, parlor later, however, however you say these damn people's name. They damn well pissed me off. So remember how I said I'm gonna make them figure it out, make them drop to me because the lady was like, okay, they're gonna what you might call it. They're gonna they're gonna have to be able to deliver to me. Sorry, I didn't even get to what the name of the title is. I don't know what I'm gonna name it. I might name it Unsatisfied with Polarator's service, Unsatisfied Customer. I don't know. Okay. Let me just go into what I have to talk about. Okay. So I got my package, the other one, like I said, I returned it today, done. I got my refund. It says my refund is there, gave back to Polarator, not Polarator, sorry, my MasterCard. But it's not showing on my statement because it's going to take two days, okay. So I returned it today, it was no hassle, I love Best Buy, the actual store I'm saying. No hassle, no nothing, okay. So, remember like I said, I was supposed to get it Tuesday? Did I get the package Tuesday? No. Where was the package? Still in the damn facility at headquarters at freaking Vaughn at um 150 credit stone whatever the address is 150 credit stone something some it didn't even leave so I called I said where's my package You're like okay can we get your um tracking number so I gave him his JA something something some whatever gave it to them like it didn't even leave because I see here the lady said uh you want it to be shipped the next day at your location and it's going to be at around no she did she did the information late because you called she she didn't say i called in late she said you called in around like six or whatever so she didn't tell you the cutoff time sorry my hair is a little itchy because it's been on all freaking day i mean i need to take it off after this but anyways yeah she put in the information too late or whatever so it's not gonna get shipped it didn't get shipped. It's going to get shipped tomorrow, maybe. Or she's like, to be honest with you, I'm going to say, I don't know because you've been through a lack and tell. So I said, okay, is there a way that it could be shipped to me? Because like I said, I live in an apartment and they're telling me all this yada yada bullshit crap that I live in an apartment. So they don't have, since I don't have access code, they can't come up and all this crap. She's like, no, don't worry. They can come. They can deliver it to you. So, yeah, she wrote all that. She's like, is there any information you want to put down? I said, okay, can you deliver it after 5? Because I finish work at 6. So, by the time I be home, it's going to be 6.30 or maybe 6.20. I'm, I'm just going to say 6.30 to be on the safe side. She's like, yeah, I can put that all down. Whatever. whatever. I said, do you know what time they're coming? She's like, no, I, I don't know what time they're coming. But the last part, the last time that they ship is 8 o'clock or whatever. Okay. So she put all that information done. I swear it was the same lady I spoke to on Saturday. Put all that information done and whatever. She's like, okay, it says no access code, blah, 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 and all that. Okay. So I was good. I was like, okay, Saturday. No, not Saturday, sorry. So I was like, okay, Tuesday. Tuesday now. I'm still on Tuesday. So, no, it was a Monday that I called. So double check. Sorry, I got you guys confused. Monday, so I'll check or whatever. So Tuesday, I called again. Or was it? I don't remember. Let's just say I called. I'm getting mixed up because they messed up my whole week last week, okay? So then I ended up going to my, I had a meeting, work meeting. So I went to the meeting. I think it was at, no, I got there early. I got there hella early. It started at 6.30, but I, got, I was there like for 5.40, I don't know. But I got there, so around 6, I look, it says Vaughn. I'm like, who the hell is calling me when I'm at a meeting? Like, my meeting is more important than who's calling me. And I said, let me pick up because, yes, I have an answer machine, but I don't even listen to my answer machine. Like, I have so many people that called me, left me a message. You think I, you think I listen to voice now? No, I don't care. Like, I know most of them are important, but to me, it's not that important. It's important, but it's not important, important, important. So I'm just leaving it. Okay. 
So the lady calls me and next day I pick up. She's like, hello, is this Juliana? And so rude, like, you can't even say, hi, may I please speak to Juliana? Like, no, just hello, is this Juliana? I'm like, yeah, I speak it. Okay, well, this is uh, Just so you know, um, we can't deliver to you. I was like, whoa, whoa, why? She's like, because um, it says here, I don't know why there's so many notes, but um, you know, have an access code so they can come. And the hours of operation is 9 to 5. So I don't know why you're saying that you want them to deliver to you if you don't have an access code and blah, 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 and all this. And she's just yelling at me. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, I spoke to a lady earlier today, or I said yesterday. And the lady I spoke to said they could deliver it to me even though I don't have an access code. She said, no, they, they can't deliver to you. They don't have a phone. There's no phone on the truck. And they're not going to use their cell phone to deliver it to you. I mean, they're not going to use their cell phone to call you and deliver it to you. And no one's going to wait downstairs for you. I was like, who said who said anything about Paula Raider waiting downstairs? I said, I will wait downstairs. My ass will be downstairs. I didn't say Paula Raider got away from me. I just got to know what time they're coming. What is time for? Oh, we don't know. Really? Really? Like, you don't know? So I said, she's just yelling at me all this bullshit. She's talking all this in my ear. I'm not even listening. I'm listening to what the meeting is about because we're about to do an introduction about something. So I'm like peeping in because everybody saw me running like, yo, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, yo, yo, yo I got to answer this call. So I'm peeping in to see what the meeting is about. She's just talking to my ear. She's just yelling at me. I'm like, deep breath. I'm at work. Technically, I'm at work because I get to pay for this. I'm like, deep breath. I can't be cussing now. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm at a meeting right now. And I spoke to somebody. They said this. No, it can't happen. I'm like, well, I'm at a meeting. So, are you guys going to deliver to me tomorrow or not? She's like, uh -huh, we can't, we can't. The hours of operation are 9 to 5. I said, okay. So, I guess you have to return it. Just return it back. She's, and then she's yelling some more. I don't know what the hell she was saying. I was like, ignoring. And then after, I was like, just return it. Because at this point, I told you, I'm at a meeting. Okay? And you're calling me at a meeting. My meeting is important. So, and then she's still yelling. I'm like, hey, you know what? I don't care. Either return it or whatever. I'll figure this out tomorrow. I'm at a meeting. Bye. Like, this is more important. Like, I, I will figure this out. My hands up. Like, I was so cheesed for the rest of the night. Everybody see me. Everyone's like, yo. So. But they couldn't ask me because my face. Screw face. I'll just give everybody their looks. Like, I was just looking at you. I was like, <laughs> I didn't mean to. I was just cheese. So, everybody knows when I'm cheese. Please stay away from me. Like, when I'm so, so livid. Like, I'm just like, they stay away from me. Okay. So, Wednesday now. Or was it Thursday? I mean, I know, okay, within the week, I think it was Wednesday, I called the next day on my break. <laughs> now, I was, I was heated. I was like, I'm heated. So, I called. I'm like, ring, 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 press the dial code or whatever. I was like, hi, my name is Juliana. Can I please speak to the manager? She's like, uh, regarding. I'm like, can I please speak to the manager? Can I help you? I'm like, can I please speak to the manager? Like, I really need to speak to the manager. She's like, oh, maybe I can. I'm like, you can't help me with this situation. I need to speak to the manager. And I was being so rude to her. I felt kind of bad. But I was like, I'm tired of dealing with these employees. I need to speak to the head. So I was like, I need to speak to the manager. I need to speak to the manager. She's like, regarding. She's like, who is. No, first she's like, who, does he know. Um, Who is this speak, um, calling? And I was like, he doesn't know me. Or he or she doesn't know me, whoever your manager does not know me. So can you just give him the phone? I'm assuming the guy I'm like, can you just give him the phone? And then she's like, What is this regarding? A package? Or I'm like, Yep, a package. You can't help me. Can I speak to your manager? <laughs> she's like, Okay, what's your name? I'm like, Juliana, like she's like, Okay, hold on. And then she's like, Wait, wait, before I go, can I give you can I get your tracking number? So she got my tracking number. She made me wait for five minutes. I was like, You best not make me wait for long because I can't deal with y'all. So I waited for five minutes. Came on, it's like, hello. My name is so-and-so. You think I was listening to that? No, I don't, I don't care about your name. So, okay. He's like, how, how can I help you? So I told him about the situation. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Like, that, that goes. Like, I really don't think he cared about my situation. So I told him. He said, he, he kept saying he's going to deliver it to me this time. This time, I'm like, yo, you're not listening. I'm not going to be home at this time because... I finish work at 6, so the safe side, I'm going to say 6.30. Let the person come at 6.30. And I was like, okay, okay, go see. Can you pick it up a closer location? You know, I'm like, I told you I'm busy all of next week. I said, so I told you I'm busy this week. I'm busy, like, 
next week like this week we're going into and i'm leaving i'm like this week i'm busy next week i'm busy too i'm leaving i'm going on vacation i still don't even pack yet i gotta pack it's like oh, oh. then he's like figuring it out and i'm like and i'm like just to let you know it's just a luggage like i don't understand why it can't be delivered to me still tracking whatever and he's like okay this time this time i'm like yo it's not gonna work it's not gonna work so i wasn't even listening to what he said i'm like just send it back just send it back he's like no no i can help you wasted another 10 to 30 minutes of my time still trying to figure out what to do i'm like oh my god i can't remember everything that happened because that day i was just livid about the whole package situation so he was still trying to figure out then he came back hold on came back hold on whatever he's still asking me can i send it to this location can i send i'm like yo you're not listening like i can't go pick it up because i'm busy i'm not gonna be in the area okay how about we sh ship it to another address i'm like you can't do that because who's gonna pick it up no one is gonna be available okay well how about you go get somebody on your behalf to go pick it up? i'm like no one is able to pick it up only i can pick it up but i'm i can't be pick i can't be able to pick it up why would I send somebody? Does that make any sense? Because I'm the only one that drives. And I'm not trying to get my family members into this. Like, this is my package. Like, I like to be independent. Like, and nobody has a car except for me. So, well, I'm talking about my family that I live with, not my immediate family. But I don't want to get my immediate family involved. Like, this is my business. I, I don't need to get anybody involved myself. I need to deal with myself. So, anyways. He's still going back and forth, wasting my time. I'm like, you know what? He's like, I don't know what to do, and blah, blah, blah. He kept talking. I'm like, you know what? Just send it back. Just send it back. Please, just send it back. He's like, no, no. I'm like, no, send it back. Like, because I'm busy this week. Next week, I'm busy. And I'm leaving the Friday, I told him, which is this Friday. I'm like, I'm leaving. I still need to pack it. So, I got things to do. Like, I got to finish doing whatever, and then I got to pack. So, I was like, it's just a luggage just send it back it's like oh okay and then he goes okay next time um just order online and then give them instructions on what to do and blah 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 and he's giving me all the i was so livid i was about to cuss him i was like let me hold it but next time give instructions like i'm dumb like i don't know they won't there won't be no next time tolerator no next time and then he's like you know what if you order next time um um send it to best buy and then you can pick it up there and then there's no um problem and blah blah and then he goes again oh one last question try to trick me again can you go pick it up on saturday at this location i'm like at this point i was just about to cuss the man or like through my phone i'm like i can't go and pick it up i told you already i'm busy all this week next week i'm busy too and i gotta pack and i'm leaving so there's no way i can pick it up he's like we can still hold it for you after you come i'm like no all done send it back send it back i need my money can i get my refund send it back and then after he's talking i'm like oh, I, I cut him off i'm like when am i gonna get my refund he's like Ugh, it's gonna take like four to seven business days or maybe three to five i'm like what is it he's like okay five four to four to seven business days i'm like okay as long as i get my money back just send it back send it back he's like i'm so sorry we tried everything and blah 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 okay well okay i'm putting it down so i was like uh is best buy gonna be aware of this like because you guys are gonna take long to send it back so it's best buy okay i don't know um just just call best buy inform them and blah 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 and all that i'm like okay and he's like have a good day whatever click so now i call best buy the lady sounded cheese i told her the situation she was cheese she was like okay i told her about i forgot to tell y'all but i'm gonna tell y'all now he said they they can't send it to somebody because Best Buy had restrict restrictions on it. And I'm like, how are you telling me this now when 10 minute, ten to 20 minutes ago, you told me that somebody could pick it up on me, my behalf or I can send it to another location, like somebody's address. Like, what the fuck are you saying, dog? <laughs> so then I told her, she's like, what restrictions? We don't have no restrictions. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. The lady that pissed me off on the Tuesday in my meeting, she said if I wanted to be sent later in the day, in the night or whatever, I would have to pay extra. And I'm like, I don't have money for that. I don't have money. I'm not paying extra for that. So I, so I told her, I'm like, send it back. I kept saying send it back. She's like, no, no, no. Send it back. Like, I'm fine. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm fine. I'm free. So then I told the lady at Best Buy about it on customer service. She's like, what? Just to ship it after, you have to pay extra fee. Like, what? Then she's like, hold on, hold on. So she went to go to check it out. Whatever. She's like, yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do because that's their, that's their thing. And sorry, my hair is hella itchy, y'all. <laughs> that's their thing and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, send it back. 
send it back. She's like, okay, is it coming back? So I'm like, yes. She's like, okay, so why are you calling if I'm like, because a guy, the manager, said that since I'm sending it back, they told me to call you because you return and make sure that you have all the information. So she put it down all on the computer, whatever. She's like, oh, I'm sorry about that. Next time when you order, just make sure it's at this address. Make sure you're available and make sure you just send it to Best Buy so you don't have to go through what you had to go through. I'm like, yeah, yeah, bye. Thank you. Five minutes later, I'm like leaving now for my break to go to my next my next location to my job so then i see a phone call who was it best buy i asked i'm like hello hello i had to say hello five times i should have just hang up the damn phone but i really wanted to know who was on the other other end and so survey for what you i'm like about survey click i'm sorry best buy y'all cheesed me customer service cheesed me so I, I couldn't do no survey then i got an email about survey i was like yo I didn't get my damn package. I only got one. So how could I do a survey? And I was going to put zero, 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 like whatever. I was going to write a whole. I'm like, this has nothing to, technically, it does have something to do with Best Buy, but technically it doesn't. So I told her, I was like, why couldn't you guys send it to Canada Post? Because I never had a problem with Canada Post. I get my stuff. Oh, it goes my way. The damn thing is not even heavy. It's a lightweight. I was trying to tell her. She's like, yeah, they go by whatever. So I said, okay, you guys could have sent it through FedEx and all. She's like, yeah, it goes by weight and polarators are fast. Because you did get it fast. I'm like, I never got it fast. She's like, yeah, I did. I'm like, no, I didn't. Because it was supposed to be here three to five days. I waited for like a damn whole two weeks just to get my damn package. I only got one. She's like, oh, you got your bad. I'm like, I only got one package. And now I was like whispering. I'm like, I might return that. I'm so bad. I'm like, I might return that. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's a whole situation. I'm un, I was unsatisfied. So today, I returned my um the Travel Pro. Oh, the Samsonite. Sorry, Samsonite didn't come. So the Travel Pro I returned it today. Nothing has. So I left the box open because I was contemplating. I was asking my mom, should I tape it up again? Mom was like, they're gonna open up again anyways to check it. So I just brought it there. She's like, she checked it. I got my refund. Like I said, it's on PayPal. PayPal told me it's back on my credit card, but I don't see it back on my credit card because it takes two business days or whatever. So then she looked at it. She's like, is there anything wrong with it? Like, I already got my refund and everything. Is there anything wrong with it? I'm like, no. She's like, so why you say? I'm like, because I don't like the size. And she's looking at me like, what do you, what do you mean you don't like the size? I'm like, not my size, the one I want. Okay, bye. And I ran out. <laughs> And she's looking, she even cheesed me. She's looking to see if it's scratch or something. I'm looking at it like, pitch, like, why would I do something to it and then return it? Like, I can't do that. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't want it. It's not the size I want. Done. Like, I'm done, I'm done with talking about, uh, freaking Polarator and Best Buy type of thing. So, from now on, if I'm going to order from Best Buy, I'm not going to do online. I'm going to do Amazon because Amazon... Remember, I gave them another try and it was good. So, maybe I might give them another try. But after this, I'm done. I'm done until, like, next time. But, yeah. That's my uh, video. So, I'm done with Polarator. Or Pure Later, however you call them. Comment down below. Uh, everybody comment down below your situation with uh, delivery company. It could be FedEx. could be UPS. could be Canada Post. Canada Post has a problem, but they're better than pure later polarator but yeah comment like subscribe share do all that jazz and i'll see you guys in the next video all right later y'all